average every dive, which are the fat storing enzymes. You increase the efficiency every time and decrease the efficiency of the lipidemic enzymes, which are the fat releasing enzymes. Decrease body mass, metal metabolism, and that then causes the body to slow down. So each dive makes it harder and harder to restore normal. So I get like clients that come in and they've been swimming away for years, they've been on the juice diet, the cabbage diet, the five two diets, and you think they're just starving themselves. So the 5-2 diet, you know, when we see what the, the mechanism is, what's happening there, it's trying to create what the body starts to eat away some of the resources. But if you're not healthy in the first place, you're going to cause problems. And medical diets are not supposed to go down below that number of 700 calories. So then we have someone recommend you have 500 calories, which is below what the medical system tells us because you start to have neural issues, you start to have neural peptides not being produced, you start to damage the nervous system. But Hey, it's a diet, it's fat, someone said it works, so it must work, so everybody's out doing it. And uh, some people are getting results with it because they were certainly over consuming the calories. So, you know, it's not a healthy way to do it, but it's certainly a way to drop the weight off. What are you losing though? That would be my question. So, we talked a little bit about hydrogenated fats. To me, these are the big concerns. Get these foods out of your diet. Marjorie, one chemical short of being plastic. It's a great material that comes out that you have to dye fragrance to, if you've never seen that, look up uh, manufacturing of uh, margarine and Wikipedia or any kind of decent place that you recommend or you, 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 you trust. Shortening and uh, salad dressings, uh, bacon, ice cream, hidden ones in there, and watch out for ice cream. Why does ice cream not freeze in the freezer? How do we answer that question for you? And then look at the table of contents and go to the website and see what those emulsifiers are. And they're linked again to the molding industry. Research and start to wonder why ice cream does not freeze in the freezer. Even being in there for three months and it comes out still. That, I, that's the questions I ask myself. And when you go researching, you go, hold on, you mean the blue stuff we put in our car has to stop from freezing? Antifreeze that we put in our car in Ireland? You guys don't need to use antifreeze over here, but they're pretty toxic chemical stuff. And we're putting stuff in our ice cream and giving it to kids. Wonderful. All right, hydrogenated, cis, trans, potentially carcinogenic. So get these fats out. They're, that's the message here on this. Get as many of them out as possible. Many European countries have banned these already. You know, trans fats are illegal in Denmark and so on. You can't have them. They won't ship them in. Jack's crackers, you can't get them. All those kind of things that are on our shelves here. They just won't bring them in because they're a small country and they're not going to be willing to pay that on their Medicare bills later on, later in life and work with all these diabetics as well. So they're just fat. I think that's a sensible option. Many other countries have fallen suit. There's places in Europe also with soy. Um, Paris now has labeled boring labels on all soy products. So just like we have all boring labels on cigarette boxes, cause you cancer from all that. So you take your own risks in your own hands. Interfere with prostaglandin synthesis. Prostaglandins are a type of fat that is needed to rebuild your brain cells and heart cells. So when you have hydrogenated oils, it interferes with the heart cells. Hydrogenated oils came into the industry or came into the world. 1912, I think. In 1912, in America, we started to push, push these gases through the oil. The first recorded case of heart disease in America was 1919. It was only after we started doing this. And this is when the, the dripping tray would come out, and people would be eating all the dripping and over consuming fats, and yet they didn't have heart disease. It's when we changed altered the fats that had a different response that the building blocks of the brain and the heart now cannot be produced. We drop bits of food in, we drop bits of chemicals and we don't look at what the reaction is down the road with all the other factors of the body. Because the body is a complicated thing. All right.